This is question number 12 from GS paper 3. Investment in infrastructure is essential for more rapid and inclusive economic growth discussed in light of India's experience. In the first para, I described that how investment in infrastructure helps in inclusive economic growth. Uh, next para is about India's experience of invest, uh, investing in infrastructure and its role in inclusive economic growth. I give the examples of five-year plans, Bakra Dam and railway infrastructure. Next para is about uh, the present focus of Government of India on development of infrastructure. Uh, then is that the states uh, having better infrastructure attract more FDI. More FDI means more employment opportunities and which helps in uh, inclusive economic growth. The, then is the conclusion. Now let us see the answer. Investment in infrastructure like roads, railways, airports, dams, telecommunication, banking, education, health, aerospace, etc. are essential for rapid and inclusive economic growth. Infrastructure helps in growth of industry, agriculture and trade. It creates more jobs and more business for all sections of the society. It connects different regions and markets of the country. It eases mobility of goods and people. It reduces the cost of transport and production. Increase in business activity increases revenue of government and the government can in turn spend more on social welfare of people. Canals, dams, rural roads, electricity, etc. help in growth of agriculture. So, investment in infrastructure helps in growth of all sectors of economy and benefits all sections of the society. This is called inclusive economic growth. After independence, India spent heavily on infrastructure. In five-year plans, focus was, on, focus was on spending on infrastructure for inclusive economic growth. Inclusive economic growth means that benefits of economic growth should reach to all sections of the society and to each and every corner of the country. Iconic Bakra Dam improved economic status of Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. Green revolution in these states was not possible without this dam. This dam provides irrigation water for 135 lakh acres of land in these states. It provides electricity for the industry. At time of independence, railway track length was about 50,000 km, but by 2021, total railway length, railway track length was uh, 1,50,000 km. Railway is backbone of Indian economy. It integrates markets and is an economical way for transport of goods and people. At present, number of infrastructure projects are under progress in India. Under National Infrastructure Pipeline, several infrastructure projects will be completed in India over a period of five years. For this, 102 lakh crore rupees were sanctioned as initial investment. To integrate the planning and implementation of infrastructure projects under different ministries, Government of India created a common digital platform with name Gati Shakti. Expansion of roads, railways, irrigation facilities, construction of dams, airports, seaports, etc. helped growth of business, agriculture and service sector. All these provided employment to all the sections of the society. States having better infrastructure attracted more FDI. For example, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, they attracted the more FDI. And the FDI generated more employment opportunities and which improved living standards of the people. So, the conclusion is that spending in infrastructure is essential for rapid and inclusive economic growth. Thank you.